What is going on everybody? I am back with another video. So today is another first impressions uh, video. Today we'll be looking at the uh, Fox Knives uh, Terzola uh, 515W. So um, you all know what it is because you're probably reading it up on the title here. But uh, I decided to just do the first impressions. So this is me actually handling the knife for the very first time. So uh, let's go and get into it. Uh, doing the honors will be the uh, Boker Plus Caracal uh, review to come on this. I've been using this lately. So we'll just go ahead and open the box with this. All right. Oh, packing peanuts, my favorite. There better be a knife in here. Here it is. All right, so let's get all this out of the way. I'm actually really excited for this one. All right, so this will be the, uh, I believe the third Fox Knives I've ever owned. The very first one was a tiny little knife, which I actually forgot the name of it. I got off of A.G. Russell like many, many years ago. And, um, and my second one would be the Cole Muskeen, that giant monster. So I, I got this tiny little knife from Fox Knives, and I got this gigantic knife. And now I'm getting a knife that's somewhat uh, more normal size. Let's put it that way. All right, so let's get this open and see what it looks like. Okay, so it looks like I got a, an Allen key. <clears throat> Not too sure what this is yet, but it looks like there's a little metal tab in there, but that's fine, I'll find out. Oh, look at that. A little bit of um, documentation. Okay, so we'll put all the stuff to the side. And here, the, here's the knife, and it does ship with this leather sheath because it is uh, more of a pocket um, uh, knife for a gentleman, let's put it that way. Um, and, uh, oh boy, there we go. All right, here we go. So, this knife caught my attention a long time ago. I always want to get it, but I uh, just never pulled the trigger. Now, there's two versions of this uh, in different configurations. Um, let's open her up. Oh, wow. Absolutely gorgeous. So, let's go over to uh, really quick here. So, so uh, th again, this is kind of more of a gentleman's uh, folder. Uh, I decided to go with this specific uh, configuration only because it was... Um, because uh, it, it, it just basically has a little bit more of a unique look to it because I don't really see an, I've never seen a knife like this by the way just you know this specific kind of a shape and I mean they're similar but not like this um, this is a Bob Terzola design and um, this is kind of like a, a gentleman's folder with a, a hint of tactical let's put it that way and so this knife kind of adds a little bit of class to the overall everyday carry um, but it, it, it's in a nice, like, uh, perfect size for EDC for, for my purposes, you know, uh, my preferences, let's put it that way. Uh, it, do, it looks like it does ship with this very nice, uh, nicely made leather sheath. Um, oh, actually, mine actually has a bit of a thread coming off of it. I may have to send this back. Um, or actually, I'd probably just snip and burn it as long as it doesn't. Uh, oh, there it goes. It's coming apart. Well, that's a big disappointment. I'll probably be contacting them and uh, see if I can get a replacement sheath for this. But that that is that is just too bad. It's just a, it's a oh okay, so it is a, a snap closure, so you don't have to like uh, take your belt off to put the uh, put it onto your um, belt. So that's cool. All right, so yeah, definitely I'll be contacting uh, Fox Knives about this and see if I can get a replacement for this. But otherwise, it seems pretty solid. Let me get a smell test here. Hmm. Very definitive leather smell here. So anyways, let's go and uh, get that out of the way for now. This is the main attraction right here. So as you may have noticed and uh, heard me talk about uh, in the past couple videos now that my current love is for nice straight streamlined knives. Uh, Got to be a liner lock and satin finish uh, 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 blades. And if I can help it, like more of like a Japanese inspired design. Now, this is definitely not a Japanese inspired design, but uh, it is a Bob Terzola design. And let's face it, guys, if you looked at the prices of, of Terzola knives online, yeah, uh, this is probably going to be the best I can do for now um, until, until I like win the lottery or, 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 you know, get a really massive promotion at work. But this is actually surprisingly smooth. It's not, it's not smooth where it's like... Um, Let's see, Let's see if I can even get it flicked out. Oh, actually, I can. Okay, it, it's not like a like a ball bearing spoon, obviously, but it has that like a sabenza quality to it, where it's just very, very uh, hydraulic feeling. Wow, I like this. 
And again, just that nice touch of class. And you know, uh, Fox Knives, if you're actually watching this video, if you made a version that actually is bolstered, I would jump on that immediately because I have a thing for uh, bolstered knives as well. They're just absolutely classy and beautiful. So take a look at that blade here. So th this this knife actually comes in a, 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 another kind of a drop point shaped blade. While I did like it, and it's more, even more gentlemanly looking than, than this version of it, uh, the, the blade was just kind of blah. It didn't really like, um, didn't really jump out at me like it's something I would really want to carry. It, it just looked kind of, kind of just, just like every other blade out there. This one with the, with the, uh, you know, um, Terzola signature fuller on it, uh, it was, it just caught my eye. And I mean, it's got like a, it's, it's kind of hard to describe. It's kind of like a reverse tanto here. Got a bit of an up, uh, upswept uh, a cutting edge. Got the fuller, and then the the very very abrupt stunted uh, a blade. Like this was going to become like a like a drop point. Then then Terzola thought, eh, whatever, and just cut it off right there. But anyways, love it. And the feels like the the handle feels really nice. For I mean, for a straight handle knife, this is really really nice. Got looks like a little bit uh, a, a bit of a step here. Um, you guys with the larger hands, you may not find this so comfortable only because it, it is kind of, um, it's not very thick. It's not like the Caracal here where you have a little bit more handle real estate to kind of latch onto, if you will, and get a good grip. But at the same time, I'm not talking about a tactical knife here. This is, you know, more of a, you know, EC. And on the other plus side, this is about a three and a half inch blade, which is right in my sweet spot of carry. Now my sweet spot of carry is between 3.25 and three and a half inches. Um, so this is this is like just basically perfect for me. The wood feels really nice. Let's get a shot of that handle. Let me get this thing closed here. Just, just an amazing looking uh, wood. This is by the way zero coat. This is the they have one with the I think curly birch and another one with olive wood and then they got bocote or bocote. I don't know how to pronounce it, but it, this is the zero coat uh, version of it. I have to say I'm very impressed. The blade is pretty thick, despite, you know, being a gentleman's folder. Wow, this is, <laughs> it is insanely fast. Unbelievable. Well, um, definitely, I'm definitely impressed. Nice. The, the, the fit and finish seems, seems very, very uh, good. Um, I won't say perfect, but very, very good. You can feel a little bit of a delineation on the liners here, but other than that, everything else just seems very smooth and streamlined. Oh, the jimping is nice though. It's very hard cut. This stuff back here, um, it's actually, uh, it's actually, it's not sharp, but it, it does, it does grab your fingers. So that is very nice. Um, so I'm, I'm really digging this. So let's go and put this down for a second and, uh, just just for the hell of it. Let's bring some other knives out for comparison. Uh, here's an oldie but goodie. This is the uh, uh, Spyderco Lum Tanto. And just for the, another heck of it, this is the uh, Benchmade uh, Lum Design, of course, um, the LFTI 760. Um, and, whoops, boy, that didn't flip well, did it? Quartermaster, uh, I think it's called the Emmett Brown. Can't, I forgot. But uh, again, Kind of straight handled uh, knives, you know, more streamlined. Those are kind of knives I really like. Actually, you know what? Let's get these out of the way here for a second. Um, let's uh, let's throw in a really really classy looking knife. Uh, put this up here, and we'll get in the the Mel Pardue. Um, actually, I forgot the name of this thing, but <laughs> this is a full custom Mel Pardue. Absolutely beautiful. I hadn't uh, brought this out in a long while but I thought this would uh, serve to offset uh, and kind of look really nice next to the uh, Terzola 515 by Fox Knives here. All right, well, this is kind of a long, long ramble video and first impressions of the Fox Knife uh, Terzola. Uh, I'll leave you with this parting shot. Uh, look forward to the review and more reviews to come. Um, but uh, any questions, comments, leave it below. Uh, I am very happy with this knife so far. So have a great day and I'll catch you guys on the next one.